There are plenty of breathtaking looking games around these days. You know, this, this game is now up against a lot of competition. So what does this game offer that other games don't? Or are you just trading on the nostalgia? You're, you, you're trading on, you know, 40 somethings wanting to be 11 again. <laughs> Well, when Ian and I did the first game back in 1984, we really pushed the boundaries. And with Frontier in 93, it really pushed the boundaries once again. And this game is absolutely no different. The opportunities that are offered by on, uh, online, particularly in terms of storytelling, and obviously we've pushed the visuals very, very hard, supporting 4K and things like that. But in terms of um, the story, you know, we, we've got a rich, detailed story. For example, the Empire is based, built on the Roman Empire, based on the Roman Empire, so imagine Caligula, Crassus, all vying for power. Our emperor is sick, and so Julius Caesar getting killed and all the people trying to take over after him. Um, that, that, that power base is sort of trying to change. So each of these people have different sort of issues. There's one awful woman who's very, very pro-slavery, but she will, anyone who supports her, she will make sure they do well. That includes players. So the players can determine this story. This story evolves um, online and changes. It's almost like um, the, a, a sort of soap opera, if you like. If you think of something like um, a, a, a box set, the same sort of thing, like Game of Thrones, the way the series have evolved over time, that's exactly the sort of thing that will happen. All of these little stories, like so when the Emperor dies, everyone lining up to take over power. Even when someone does that, the others aren't going to be happy about can it. Can I take over power? Can a player become an Emperor? The player can influence the Emperor, but no, they can't become an Emperor because... Oh, please. <laughs> The, the, the real issue, when you've got um, hundreds of thousands, even millions of people playing, it doesn't make sense if everyone is going to be emperor, but you, could be, you can be a very influential person and move forward. And also, you can, as a group, overthrow governments and change the power. So if you think slavery is, it should be illegal, that can be so, because you can make sure that the, the slave uprisings succeed. But that might mean the ship you're saving up for gets a lot more expensive because it's no longer slave labour mining the ore. So it's not about shooting stuff, it's about politics. No, it's not. It's about shoot, there being powerful reasons for what to shoot. And also, what to, we've got trading, we've got exploration, we've got the whole galaxy in there. You know, the, the, all of these other things, even mining. But you might find it's much easier to get some other guy to mine gold and you steal it off them so you can be a pirate. 